me just take a quick break to clear these energies up, right? Ooh. I need to clear my energy up for real. Okay, but hello, hello. Welcome back to another tarot reading, Soul Vibing with Carrie. How are you guys doing today? I hope all is well. This video is for my fellow Virgos. Virgos, how are you doing today? I hope all is well, Virgo. Virgo, this is all about your love life, okay? Thank you to all my Virgos. Virgo is always very useful to have around. They love being useful. You guys love just being of service to others, I feel like. You guys are very analytical too, so you can always appreciate someone who uses their head and who has a good head on their shoulders. Right, Virgo? Okay, let's go ahead and get in straight into your reading. What, what do we have in for Virgo? Virgo love life, okay? We want the tea. We want the tea, baby. Oh, yeah. I love those cards already. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like we're taking baby steps here, Virgo. Okay, it looks like we've been taking baby steps here towards something, releasing a lot of conflict, releasing a lot of just bad vibes that you just don't need around you, Virgo. That's what I'm seeing. A lot of bad vibes, a lot of a lot of people who are just no no longer good in your life they've probably been they probably have been walking out of, out of your life and they left you feeling kind of just sad because you weren't expecting these people to walk out of your life Virgo okay and for a while I feel like you were embodying this five of cups like you know basically crying over spilled milk I mean this could have been just emotions I just feel like it's emotional or it was emotional for you this could be in the present at the moment you may be feeling this but I feel like you're going to be coming out of this very soon if you're already not in this um, energy, Virgo. Okay? You might already be emb embodying this uh, Five of Cups in reverse where you are, you're actually seeing the bright side of things. See the two cups? Okay, so this card talks about, you know, you looking down at the, the spilled milk, basically. And it's like really weighing you down. It really made you sad, depressed even. Um, in some cases here Virgo but I feel like you're coming out of that at the moment and you know what's beautiful is the fact that the page of cups came up here and this is the card of dreamers this is the card of new beginnings of something new starting up here okay excuse me in your love life so what I see here is she's holding the cup and a little fish is coming out I feel like you're just starting to be hopeful about your love life if you are single okay if you're in a relationship Virgo I feel like if you've been through like a rough past with your partner and there's been a lot of arguments, I feel like you guys are letting that go and you guys are starting to see the bright side of things and you guys are really starting to um, just get along, you know, and, and just you're embracing this new Page of Cups energy is what I'm seeing, okay? So this is wonderful, Virgo. I'm so happy. I'm glad because you know what who likes to be arguing all the time you know who likes to be conflicted and who who likes to be around people who are always just opposing you virgo that's unhealthy for you okay that could have been a major reason what of what was weighing you down maybe a lot of people were talking about your relationship i mean it could be anything right but that's just what i'm picking up on that there was just a lot of people involved in your relationship and there's some people you had to let go of and you just kind of you you were in a kind of depressed mood for a while but i really see in your future that you're going to be and this is your near future of course you know you're you're embodying this page of cups you're coming out and you're just um you're you're getting a little bit more mature about things is what i'm seeing okay you're starting to see the light in things and you're seeing the bright side of things okay so i'm gonna go ahead and back this up with some romance angels for my fellow virgos Romance Angels, what's this about? What's this about? And what I see here is that some of you may be young too with this Page of Cups here, okay? Definitely a lot of like, um, or young at heart even, okay? What's this um, Five of Wands about, Romance Angels? What's going on? What's going on in Virgo Love Life? I feel like it's this one, okay? You get passion. Pay attention to the red flags, <clears throat> okay? So I feel like they're, they're, I feel like this person that you were with, okay, or that you are with maybe, 
I feel like there was a, a lot of passion in between this person, but things kind of went sour. Things kind of like they're just there started to be a lot of, a lot of arguments around you guys. Okay, you get pay attention to the red flags here, Virgo. What else is coming up for Virgo, please? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yeah, so what I feel like is I feel like whatever you've been going through in your love life, it's like you acknowledged, you acknowledged what was going wrong and now you're just like embracing the moment and you're just living in the moment kind of thing. Okay. Let me go ahead and pull another card out for you, Virgo. From the Romance Angels. Forgiving and learning. So yeah, I definitely feel like in your love life, you've just had like some, just a little bit of complications. I don't feel like it's anything too serious, right? But definitely forgive and learn is what Spirit is saying. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now, if you are single, Virgo, I feel like you're just learning. You're learning, basically, off your mistakes, off, you know, whatever whatever arguments and fights um, that tore down your relationship in the past or any past relationships that you've been in, I feel like you're just learning from that and you're coming up as a page of cups, okay? You're you're still maturing. You're still learning. There's nothing wrong with that. You're where you're at. You're, you're at the right place at the right time. I guarantee you, okay? And just because I'm feeling like I need to give you some cards from my... Let me see if I can get these. Go way over here. Okay. Like some little, um, what are these called? Like little mantras. Little, are they mantras? They're like, uh, yeah, mantras. I feel like you can use some of these to just make you feel better in general, Virgo. I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of these out for you, okay? So what I'll do is I'll pull some of these out and then I'll read them at the end for you because... I still have a lot more oracles I want to pull out for you. So, let me see here. I think I have a spider crawling on me. Jeez. Felt something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Virgo. Ooh, look. I'm going to take this one right here. Okay. So, let's go ahead and back this uh, reading up with some cards. Monology cards. Oh, Miss Moon, what do you have to tell Virgos here? Ooh, your commitment is being tested. So yeah, I feel like whatever you went through in the past with this person, whether you're with them still or not, I feel like um, it was just a test. You know what I mean? It's just life sends you tests to see if you learn from them. And if you do learn from them, which I see that you are learning from them, okay? You very much are learning from these mistakes you've been making. Um, uh, that's that's what happens is a life sends you tests to see if you learn from your mistakes but i feel like you guys are so that's great virgo and then here you get balanced spirituality and practicality okay so um what i take from this card this may be a pisces you're involved with for sure because i also get this little fish which, which reminds me of pisces energy okay virgo and pisces is actually the uh, opposition of of virgo okay so like they oppose those two signs oppose each other so maybe that could be why if you are dealing with a Pisces or somebody with a Pisces in their birth chart um that could be why you guys just didn't get along but I could be totally wrong too you know so anyways uh just following your intuition with that but this is all about intuition flowing with it and then balancing and what I see with balancing spirituality and practicality Virgo is working out and meditating are both going to help you at this time okay to help release any further conflict or, you know, like to help you stop worrying. Cause I feel like you guys worry a lot. Okay. As Virgo as a sign, you guys are big worriers. Um, like you worry. So, um, definitely to balance that out, that energy out is, um, start working out, meditating, yoga, anything that's going to make you feel good physically. Okay. Even just taking care of yourself, which I'm also going to pull out a card from the self-care oracle over here. Okay. So that you might be able to pick up some tips from there. Resting. Okay. Give yourself time to recuperate from whatever conflicts you've been in and negativity, you know, <clears throat> just rest. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and pull some cards from the self-care oracle for Virgo, please. Virgo rising, Virgo sun, maybe even Virgo moon in Western and Sidereal astrology. Why not, right? Definitely recommend you look at your Sidereal chart because sometimes you might resonate more with that with that rising sign or that sun sign instead of your because sometimes you know you look at your horoscope you're like well this makes no sense i don't resonate with this at all well it's probably because you have a different side real sign okay so sweet treat maybe it's just time to enjoy the sweet things in life right now and this might make you feel better i'm not saying that you should indulge all the time but once in a while just having that sweet treat if you know you've earned it is really good for you okay it really helps out to balance you like especially virgo is a sign of health so if virgo if you're a very healthy person then it's okay to have that sweet treat right now right and spending time alone right now huh definitely get that with like i don't know i just get that uh, that lonely vibe you know like you need to spend time alone just to rebalance yourself okay back of the deck energy journaling is really going to help y'all at the moment writing your dreams writing your plans write down you know like short-term goals like what are you going to do tomorrow kind of thing you know that's going to help you out okay virgo so let's go ahead and pull since i get sweet treat oh you know which ones i'm going to do for you virgo you guys are the first ones that are going to get these okay Give me just one second. I need to go get them. All right, Virgo, so I'm back. So I got these sparks of balance. So since you got balance, spirituality, and practicality, I figured, you know, I'm going to get this for you. Okay, I feel like you guys can very much benefit from them. So I'm going to pull some out, okay? These are the first to get them. I'm going to pull out a couple. There you go. I think three is good enough. <clears throat> so before I read those, I do want to read this for you, though. It says, my inner world is peaceful. It is safe for me to look within. Each time I look deeper into myself, I will find incredibly beautiful treasures. I love this for you guys. I really do love this. I feel like it resonates if you guys have been through a hard time and like fighting and arguing with people. I feel like this can resonate with you guys very well. Okay. I feel like it goes very well with the reading too. Okay, so then I get for the Sparks of Balance. Here it is. It says... Designate a specific time every day to focus on self-restoration. So yeah, this is definitely the, I don't know. I feel like this is really going to resonate with you guys because after a period of conflicts and like feeling like depressed and like thing, things haven't gone your way, I feel like, yeah, like that's what you need is you need some time to rest and restore yourself. You know what I mean? And just know that there's a new beginning for you in love. Don't worry about that. Okay. Listen to uplifting music and do nothing else. Oh, I'm so with this. And it resonates so well with this rest card. Like, just rest and listen to music, okay? Uplifting music, like 432 hertz music. That's really nice, okay? It literally makes a difference than listening to just, like, R&B or hip-hop. I have nothing against R&B, hip-hop, nothing like that. I like, I like that music. I just feel like sometimes you just need to switch it up and listen to classical or listen to that 432 hertz um you know heart chakra meditating music but um consciously slow and deepen your breathing so this is really going to help you out okay virgo beautiful that is all i have for you i really hope you enjoyed your reading please come back and i'll see you guys next time bye